So what was it about this particular design? Wow, I need a Seymour Sibo, that's most important. It's an Autotech 47, which is quite long maybe, but I wanted to have four cabins, four full cabins with bathrooms. That's good. And what does the boat weigh? Um, I would probably say 15 and a half, wow, at least. That's my pounds. Tons. <laughs> 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 no, 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 it's not a real lightweight boat. Okay. No, I wish, but no, that's a different, that's when it gets expensive. Right. If you have a beautiful boat and light, <laughs> that is really expensive. Carbon fiber. So are there any particular features that make it easier or better for single-handed? Oh yeah, definitely. Most important, autopilot. If you don't have an autopilot, for sure you cannot do that. Um, one electric winch, just one right here. That's enough for the um, mainsail, mostly. The rest you can do by yourself. And then a self-taking jib. I, often I would like to have a Genoa, a bigger sail, being able to yeah take it in or have more or less. But it's easy, just taking. I mean, we don't tack that much, we have to admit. <laughs> we're trying not to do it. Twice a day. But if I have to do it, no worries. I can do it easily by myself. Got it for two years now, but I was looking for it at least two years before. So I've been touring all around. I went to Panama, I went to um, St. Thomas, the Virgins, I went to Corsica in the Med, looked at all kinds of boats. But I was um, more or less set on this from a very very first beginning. Um, so yes, I need to cross oceans. Crossing oceans is just a lot of extra stress on boats. And these boats were built still very sturdy and strongly, very thick. Not as light as you wanted, but you cannot have both. So, and I wanted a boat which sails. It's a sail boat. I don't want a motorboat. I don't want to be up there like a, yeah, like driving a truck. And I'm very used to these hand stations because the boat before I sailed was also ex um, two helm stations and I really like it. So I have both opportunities. I can do and see the sail, very important for me. And I love the lines, definitely. These lines are just, yeah, she's beautiful. I would like a little less or a little more um, clearance, bridge deck clearance. I thought it was enough, but it's still slamming a bit and I have to get used to that because, um, yeah, it's noisy. It is noisy underneath and I would like to sleep well, better. Um, there's one little tiny thing which waves from the front are very, very strange because of the, the build of the trampoline and I don't know, the, the deck attachment, when, when you have waves from the front, they just make their way up the hull and come like rain spray back wow. to the south to the huntsman seat. As um, yeah, charter boat I have to um, have four cabins with bathrooms, very important. It didn't quite make our short list when we were looking for a catamaran, but we did look into the Naughty Tech 47. Just those gorgeous lines, it was the European styling that really turned us on. These boats are finished fairly well and they've got a reputation for good speed too. Moana is in great condition. The galley is set up for entertaining with the pass-through out to the cockpit. Overall, the boat is much more compact than Clarity. It doesn't have quite as much headroom as you're heading down into the hulls. The hulls themselves are well laid out. It looks like it's uh, like a walnut interior, a light walnut, and you've got a thwart ship's berths in the forward ends and then four to aft berths in the sterns. It's a four cabin layout with four heads. The heads are wet heads, which means that you'll be wiping these heads down after you use the shower. The berths themselves are nice size and we really like the storage on this boat. It's organized, the cabinets and the poles are all very high quality for a production boat. As we head back up into the main salon, we've got escape hatches underneath the top of the steps, although they're rather small. And then getting back into the main salon, that forward-facing nav station is very nice. Yeah. yeah, tell us what you've done to this boat. Well, really, the first thing was <laughs> re-glue the keels, because they're only glued. 
they're not laminated, which is kind of a crash box thing, which is good. Mm -hmm. So when you run onto something, you just lose the keel mm -hmm. um, instead of having a hole in the boat mm -hmm. and no water in the boat. But they weren't glued properly and that had to be redone. So in the boatyard in Greece, where I bought the boat, it had to be done properly. Mm -hmm. Well then, it started with the whole cushion stuff for sure, the sun protection, the helmsman seat, we um, made them deeper and more, more comfortable. New dinghy, new lazy bag as I said, one totally new engine, starboard engine is new, port side engine is three years old, so it was just renewed before I bought the boat. One new sail drive, Lots of new windows, new toilets, new windlass. Yeah, there was no water maker when I got the boat, so oh. this is completely new. Complete system, which is closed, but it's really components. So the filters here, and the pre pump, and the strainer, the pressure pump down here, easy access. Oh, I see. And I have the membrane down here. So everything is easy access, it's open, it's not closed system oh, and I really like yeah. that. So the water tanks are all around the um, okay. mast for sure, but 900 litres is a lot. I got uh, two times 200 litres of diesel, which is not too much. That's yeah. fine, mm -hmm. that's completely fine. Mm -hmm. um, which engines are they? It's um, Yanmar 557 uh, horsepower, so it's quite... Big. 57? 57. Wow. Yeah. That's we got 54s. This is drinking water. Oh. And this is just from the tank. So, whatever I do, it's before I had my water maker filter fil fil filled into bottles to drink it right away, not put it into the tank. Now I'm putting everything into the tank and everything just comes out right. How many tanks? Oh, whew, I got five tanks. <laughs> Um, two which are 250 liters and three which are 125 so I'm having 900 liters in total. That's a lot of water. Oh a lot of water. <laughs> wow. Yes, the countertop, the kitchen countertop is completely new which is difficult because it's such a big piece. It's enormous and it's this, um, yeah, this stony stuff which is also very very heavy mm, and expensive for sure. I changed all the lines, all the running gear, I changed the furler, uh, whew, yeah, all the, the kitchen um, fronts, we've been redoing them, completely redoing them, so also, I had a bunch of uh, friends coming over to Greece, always like a week and seven people coming, just helping me, um, doing the winch service, replacing windows laminating or whatever what there was and it, it was not alone which was really really good mm -hmm. but a lot of stuff was also done by the boatyard mm -hmm. I couldn't do that all mm -hmm. ah so much new plotters new AIS lots of electronics new mm -hmm. and she was in charter before she I think she was really heavily used um, from Athens and from Lefkas and all these and then Kiklad Islands which had a lot of wind and I'm trying to, yeah, give her some reward now. <laughs> yeah. But she was in good shape. Well, the the form of the boat, the mm -hmm. stability, the build is, is good. And that's the most important thing. And did you have to get new sails? I have a new parasailer, mm -hmm. which is brilliant. I love it. Mm -hmm. But um, the rest of the sails is old. Yeah. And so what would you say you have more to do? She's in such beautiful shape. I definitely have to do something about my anchor chain problem which is she's jumping the chains jumping and especially now that I'm by myself mostly mm -hmm. it's hard to get the anchor up and that's a safety issue for me as well I probably will have to change batteries one day oh, I forgot the solar panels are all new as well and how much solar do you have I have 600 plus two in stock which I can take out um, and connect if I have yeah sunny days and not too much movement, but I rarely do that. Yeah. And I got spare batteries or extra batteries with, with that one, but um, they're normal batteries, so they will be fading soon. I know that. Mm -hmm. I, um, yeah, yeah, well, the anchor problem definitely, the solar has to be 
Well, and so many things which you always want to have. Marika is a very experienced sailor, having already circumnavigated once. Marika does take paying crew for educational opportunities as well as regular charter. We would have no hesitation in recommending Marika or Moana. We've included contact information and her website in the links below in the description. <laughs>